Hi guys, it's Ryan from Ryan Fowler Photography and I've got a tutorial for you on how to use one of these. This is a 430EX RT3 uh, speedlight and it works with one of these and it also works with the built-in built pop-up flash, it's a bit of a tongue twister, on your on your cameras that have them. Um, so if you don't have one of those cameras, you'll like with a pop-up flash, you'll need a um, either one of these, a little RT transmitter, this is the STE3RT. Um, if you do have a pop-up flash, I'll show you how to set it up. So it's optical transmission, um, but optical you won't get as good a signal as you do with radio transmission. So first thing I'm going to do is I will turn it on. And once I turn it on, uh, you'll see all of the little details here pop up, little charging screen come up. It looks kind of similar to the 600 uh, EX RT, which it's pretty well designed on. Um, so how to set it up for wireless flash is this little button here, the little um, arrows pointing either way. Um, you're going to push that and here you've got master or slave. So that's when it works with one of these. That's for radio transmission. Um, and here if you go to slave or individual slave, that is where it's going to bring up um, optical transmission. So on the front just around here. Um, there is a, uh, that's usually where the front of things, the opposite to the back. Uh, there is a little um, light screen, uh, which you'll probably notice if you've got one, um, that flashes red. So when you push that, that's where you can set up um, optical transmission or uh, radio transmission. So for example, um, I'll just go to slave first, and that's pretty much it set. Uh, you can then control it on your camera. Um, if uh, if you go into flash control, built-in flash settings, um, and just follow the follow it through like that, that's where you can find all of the um, all of the controls for it in there. But to set it up with the STE3RT, I'm going to go to slave. So I could set it as a master. Um, it's the same process, but I'll show you a slave. So I'll turn this on and conveniently it's already synced um, and you can see that how I've got this set up is this is on channel 1 and I've set that to channel 1. Um, this is flash B and I've got it set to flash B here. Um, if you are, uh, I like to use just one channel. Um, it seems to make it a lot easier just to control um, certain types of flashes. So you can use this with uh, a 600 EX RT uh, and the 433 because uh, I've got both and that's how I use them in my studio. All right, so we've got the two flashes, uh, well, the transmitter and the flash synced. Um, if you go on here, you can go ratio, um, and you can select all different ratios, group, um, and then just you can control the flash power um, by by just following sort of the buttons. So the groups will allow you to control each one of these. Um, whereas if you're using optical on the flash, that is going to um, allow you to run the flash through the camera, which is kind of convenient sometimes. Um, and also here you've got the little um, test fire button, so you can push that and it will send it will send the signal to this flash to fire a test shot. Um, so I hope this video has helped. I'm going to turn this one off. hope it's helped and uh, please do like, comment and subscribe. I'd appreciate, um, appreciate your comments and I will see you in the next video.